County man is behind bars accused of using an online dating app to entice a teenaged boy. Police say Joseph Cambrick used the cell phone app Grinder to accost the boy for immoral purposes. It's one of several charges he faces. 13 on your side's John Hogan has a look at the criminal case and what parents can do to protect their kids from digital predators. Joseph Cambrick has been locked up here at the Kent County Jail since early June. Now he's facing four charges stemming from a relationship he forged with a 13 year old boy using a dating app. Generally speaking, uh, parents should be very fearful of um, really any social media app that's unmonitored. The app, in this case, Grinder, has been around for 10 years. It bills itself as the world's largest social dating app for gay, bi, trans, and queer people. Given predators access that they uh, previously had to um, sort of work for in person, right? That's apparently what happened in this case. Police say Cambrick met the 13-year-old boy through the Grinder cell phone application. The boy's parents notified police after discovering the Grinder app on their son's phone. During an interview at the Children's Advocacy Center, the boy admitted he met Cambrick online. Kent County Sheriff Sergeant Joel Roon says social media sites are like digital playgrounds for predators. That access is what can often evolve into a person-to-person -person contact, and that's the real scary part about this. The boy disclosed that he and Cambrick met at night near the boy's Alpine Township apartment. They had sex. Charges against the 46-year-old Saranac man include criminal sexual conduct and using computers to commit a crime. If convicted, Cambrick faces up to 15 years in prison. Wherever kids are spending digital time, whatever platform that might be, that's naturally going to be a place that attracts predatory activity. Chris McKenna is founder of Protect Young Eyes. Its mission is to safeguard kids from online danger. Predators are, are ingenious in the ways in which they um, attract kids. And you know why? It's because they know kids. They study kids. He says monitoring online activity, especially websites that kids visit, is key to safeguarding children from digital predators. For parents to be students of how their children use technology is going to give them great insight into what some of the risks are. And so we've got to fight fire with fire. Cambrick will be back in court later this summer. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.